uh, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit y'all with another video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all having a very great week. My day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribe to the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Massachusetts. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Massachusetts. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, you all, you already know what today is. Yes, yesterday was Thursday, Thursday. Today is what? Freaky Friday. And there's some freaky stuff going on in this world. Now, I want to ask you all opinion before I start this video, as you can tell by the title. And what I want to ask you all is this right here. Just say, if you have a daughter, and your daughter want to play high school sports, would you want your child to play high school sports, your daughter that is, with a transgender, a male who identifies as a woman? Would you let your child, or would you agree with your child playing sports with a transgender male? Because you already know, of course, you can identify as what you want to identify with. But men and women, male and females, that is, girls or boys, are not the same. We are not the same on any kind of level. So I want to make sure y'all remember that, as in the case of this story right here, where we have four high school players who was savagely injured, yes, by a transgender male who identifies as a woman. But the strange thing concerning this transgender male is this right here. This person is over six feet tall. Now, we ain't worried about the height. We worry about your anatomy and what you're made of, what you or really biologically born as. Now, this person, this transgender, is over six feet tall and has facial hair. Yes, has a whole mustache and damn near gold teeth, kind of like me right there, almost. And I was thinking to myself, like, damn, I'm six foot four, 235, and this person on this basketball court, as you all see right now, look just as big as me. And did you see how he just slung that girl down? And she is hurt. Boy, she is hurt. Lord have mercy. Now, think about this, folks. Also, I understand we live in a world where everybody want to please everybody. We can't say nothing because it's like the people that were once in the closet or out the closet and the people who was out the closet mean straight people that is we are in the closet because we're scared to come out and say a damn thing you get me and if we do say something we are being homophobic or we are trying to bash somebody but i want to let you all know this right here look here this is not a bash video and no i am not homophobic because as you all may know i have a gay cousin his name is what yes tay 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 is hella gay flaming like you know what now so I want to make sure I get that clear with you all also, because I don't want nobody to sit up here trying to say, well, Trey, you're trying to bash somebody. You're trying to uh, make people into what they're not. No, no, they are doing it themselves. I feel like this. When we see stuff like this going on, we're supposed to say something. But I understand we have been taught not to say a damn thing. We have been taught to what? Yes, it start with an O. Obey. You feel me? We have been taught to obey and don't question a damn thing. Now, as you all may know, several states in the United States have banned transgender males from participating in high school sports. Three of those states happen to be what? Texas, Florida, and also Vermont. And big shout out to all three of those states for standing up because at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself this right here. Is it right just because a person want to feel a certain way or identify a certain way? Is it right for you to sit up here and put that person around females? Because I guarantee you this, if this transgender male who hurt those four girls at this high school basketball game were playing against boys, I am sure that he would not have been able to hurt that many players. I am sure that it would have been even. Now, some of y'all may be thinking, but Trey, what was the score in the game? The score is this right here. The score was 31 to 14, and it was just only 16 minutes in the game. The transgender male was out there acting a fool like Larry Bird back in the day, snatching rebounds, hitting jump shots, doing layups, just clowning all over those girls. But what do you expect, though? That's what I'm trying to say. It's like you put Michael Jordan out there or Larry Bird out there trying to play against some women or some females. What you think going to happen? Now, the news wants us to sit up here and believe that the reason why this team forfeited the game because they had to forfeit because they have the playoffs coming up. And the school that had the four injured players is named Collegiate Charter School of Lowell, the girls' basketball team. A damn shame. And they were playing against KIPP Massachusetts. And KIPP Massachusetts is probably going to win the state championship this year because they have a secret weapon. We already know what that secret weapon is. Now, I understand that, you know, people want to feel a certain way. I understand that people want to do whatever the hell they want to do. But at the same time, anytime it affects your children, because I wonder how those girls' parents feel. Because if there was my child out there being hurt like that, being slung around like a rag doll, I would immediately pull my child out that damn program and politely put her somewhere else or tell her to indulge or something else that would not get her hurt. Because at the end of the day, you must understand this right here. Male and females are not the same. But the news is trying to dress it up as Collegiate Charter School of Lowell forfeit the game 
because they did not want to play against a transgender player. And that's a damn lie. The reason why they forfeit the game was because four of their players were hurt. As you see, one of the players hurt right now. And that's a damn shame. But anyway, we'll break the wrist down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, girls high school basketball team forfeits a game because they refused to play against a team with a transgender player. And that's a damn lie. And that's why I put the headline right there so you all can see it. And that's why I read these stories out to y'all because you have regular people, you know what I'm saying, that pick up these stories and they'll see the headline like, oh, oh, they homophobic. No, it's not. No, it's not. They are not homophobic. The reason why they forfeit the game, they had no damn choice. They was already getting the hell beat out of them. 31 or 14 already 16 minutes into the game. So they let you know if they would have continued to play this high school basketball team, guess what would have happened? That score would have racked up to 90 to 25. What's the use of playing when you're getting the hell beat out of you anyway? But the nerve of the news headline to sit up here and say this school did not want to play against this other team all because they had a transgender player. And clearly, that was a damn lie. Those girls did not know what to do out there. Look how they're walking around just confused. And look how bold and brazen the transgender player is walking around the court. He just know that he is top dog on that court. Anyway, a Massachusetts high school girls basketball team was forced to forfeit this game after a transgender player on the opposing team, injured four of his players. And that's a damn shame. And I can just imagine how that coach was looking, knowing the playoffs about to come up like, damn, what are we going to do with Larry Bird Jr.? Larry Bird Jr. was out there putting in that work that day. But like I told you all, what did you all expect? Now, I wonder, and I ain't trying to sound mean or facetious or anything like that, but I wonder, do this transgender player take showers with these females? Or do this transgender player go over to the male showers? That's what I want to know. Answer that for me, you all. Do you think this transgender player takes showers with these females? Or do they make him take showers separate? That's what I want to know. Because I know damn well, if I found out my daughter, if I had a child, if I found out my daughter was taking showers with a boy in high school, guess what? I wouldn't give a damn what he identified with. I would politely take my child out that damn program. And like I say, I understand some of y'all going to take it the wrong way because the media done program you to think a certain way, and that's fine. But guess what? Somebody have to unprogram you to think the right way. Now let's continue with the story. The Collegiate Charter School of Lower Girls Basketball Team dropped out of their February game against KIPP Massachusetts after one of KIPP players who was a biological male injured Four of their female athletes. A damn shame. And girl, you need to go get your arm checked in your back. Whoever your parents is, honey. I hope. I hope they go get you looked at the... But back to what I said in the beginning of the video. Would you want your daughter playing contact sports? Because basketball is a contact sport. Would you want your daughter playing contact sports against somebody who was born naturally, biologically, a male? That's what I want to know right there. Them they got tongue-tied. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let's continue. Collegiate Charter School officials said the team decided to forfeit because the other players feared getting injured and not being able to compete in the playoffs that were just a few days away. A damn shame. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't even took my ass out there and try to play. I wouldn't give a damn who felt played, who felt offended or not. Because it's like this. You know what I'm saying? When you sit up here and try to please everybody in the world, because that's the world we live in now. When you try to please everybody in the world, guess what end up happening in the end? Somebody going to be left hurt. Somebody going to be left unhappy. As in the case of this story right here. Look here. You're making the uh, transgender male happy. You're pleasing him, giving him everything he wants. But what about these females that this transgender player is hurting, as we see right now? So what about their feelings? Since we are only worrying about transgender and how gay people feel, let me know that also. And once again, this is not homophobic. This is not bashing. This is just what you call truth talk. A lot of people don't forget what that is, like straight up talk. Because I understand a lot of people dance around on eggshells on YouTube or whatnot. But sometimes in life, when you see stuff happening like this, we must stand up and stand on our square and say something. Because if we not say anything, guess what? That means we are just as guilty as the people who are allowed this mess. And now let's close up. And now, in closing, they say the bench was already depleted. You know what depleted mean? Empty. Going into the game with the 12-player roster, having four players unable to play. Because guess what? That transgender player was putting their work and injured their ass. A damn shame. But I guarantee you, when the playoffs come in Massachusetts, KIPP Massachusetts is going to be the state champions because they have a secret weapon, like I told you all a few minutes ago. And his name is what? Larry Bird Jr. Anyway, they say in closing, when the coach saw three more of his girls go down in the first half of the game. The first half, now I told you all, it was only 16 minutes into the game. And the score was what? 31 to 14. Damn. 
And they say KIPP Massachusetts, with their secret weapon, was beating the hell out of these girls. But ask yourself this also, since we want to be right about everything else. How in the hell can these females compete at that level when they have a disadvantage? Because you are playing against somebody who is biologically a male. You feel me? You're playing against a boy who identifies as a female. You feel what I'm saying? So no matter how you want to dress that pig up, guess what? It's still a pig at the end of the day. And no, I am not calling a transgender player a pig. I'm just making a reference, a metaphor that is. So no matter how we want to sit up here and dress this stuff up, the girls are still playing against a boy. Anyway, and also in closing, they say the coach saw three more of his girls go down in the first half, leaving him with only five players. Now ask yourself this. What in the hell can this coach do with five players? You got to have more than five players because guess what? For those who play sports and know anything about sports, somebody may foul out. Somebody may get hurt. And who's going to replace that player? Because if you don't have five players, you're going to be forced to forfeit any damn way because they're not going to let you play like that. You cannot play against four on five. This is not you no know, uh, schoolyard or anything. These are regular sports, even though they are doing what the hell they want to do. And like I asked you all in the beginning of the video, would you want your daughter playing contact sports against somebody who's born naturally a male, who was born biologically a male? Just let me know that in the comment section. And once again, this is not no bash video. This is not homophobic or anything like that. This is just the truth. You get what I'm saying? Because how in the hell can we explain this uh boy out here being over six feet tall with facial hair? And also, how in the hell do you identify as a female, but you got more facial hair than I got? That's why I want to know right there. And shame, and shame on the school for even allowing this to go on. Because I understand everybody trying to please everybody. I understand they got hidden agendas or whatnot. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself this. Is this right or is this wrong? And for those of you all who say, I'm not going to say anything or remain silent, that means you are complicit, you are complacent with this whole thing, which means you are just as guilty as the people who are allowing this mess. Anyway, you all let me know what you think in the comment section. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. And you all have a blessed day. You all have a great weekend. And I will see you soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.